Rhode Island Secretary of State Nellie Gorbea is getting ready to pass the torch to Greg Amore in January. 12 News reporter Adriana Rosas Rivera sat down with Gorbea to talk about her time in office and what's next. In our exit interview, outgoing Secretary of State Nellie Gorbea looking back at her campaign for governor, her efforts to increase access to the ballot box and work to diversify state politics. There is always going to be unfinished business in the public sector. Secretary of State Nellie Gorbea saying goodbye to the office she's held for eight years. Gorbea made history as the first Hispanic elected to state office in New England. She tried to make history again, running to become the first Hispanic governor to hold that office regionally. But Governor Dan McKee and newcomer Helena Folks, who largely self-funded her campaign, edged her out. But the votes were also split, some people say, between yourself and Helena Folks. Do you blame folks for having lost that race? Uh, what became very clear to me through that race, though, is that our country desperately needs campaign finance reform and that there are advantages that people of wealth have that regular folks uh, don't have. Some said early voting helped McKee win as other candidates were gaining momentum in the final days of the election. Despite that, Gorbea is hesitant to say the early voting period should be shortened. Decisions about how our elections should be changed should not be based on one candidate or one race. They really should be based on what is best for the voters. When asked about running again. But I feel that uh, right now in, in this moment, I can say that uh, it is through the private sector that I will make a change, that I will make a difference in our community. Corbea announced earlier this month her next job will be conducting cybersecurity and disinformation research at the Pell Center at Salve Regina University. For more from our interview, you can head to our website, WPRI.com. In studio, I'm Adriana Rosas Rivera, 12 News.